my Tauruses, and welcome to your November Love Tarot Reading with me, Miss Machiste. Taurus, we are going to be looking into your love life for the first half of November. Please keep in mind that time is fluid. Everyone has their own divine timing and their own divine order from spirit. Also, Taurus, please keep in mind to check out your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Not all messages will resonate with every Taurus out there, so please check out your other chart placements. Taurus, if you're new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I post, you can ring that little bell and you will be on top of all of my releases. I post weekend love readings, daily love readings, mid-month and monthly love readings, pick a card love readings, and as well... I will start my manifestation series and I am also starting how to connect to the other side series in November. So if you're interested in any of those, subscribe now, ring that bell so you are on top of all of that. To my current Taurus subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all my Tauruses. Your support is greatly appreciated and I truly, truly appreciate it so very much. You really help my channel grow, and it is very special and important to me to express my gratitude to you all. So, Taurus, we are going to be doing the you versus them spread. So, this is going to be your energy, their energy, and the mutual energy in the middle. If you're familiar with my channel, I do this spread for the weekend love reading. It has gotten very popular, so we're going to put it in the monthlies and the mid-months. And see how it goes. So, Taurus, you're going to be over here. Your person's going to be on the other side. Keep in mind, Taurus, for some of you, this reading may be resonating backwards. For some of you, Taurus, is this reading may resonate reversed. You may end up on their side. They may end up on your side. So please keep that in mind, Taurus, that for some of you, this reading may resonate backwards, reversed, flipped, Whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it. Taurus cross watchers. I know you are very much interested in the Taurus. But also keep in mind that the energy can be flipped and reversed for you as well. So please assign the roles as you wish. And let's get into it for my Tauruses. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. How are my Tauruses feeling this first half of November spirit? How are my Tauruses feeling this first half of November? Let's get my Tauruses energy. How are my Tauruses feeling, Spirit? Can you please show me how are Taurus feeling? My sun, moon, rising, Venus for my Tauruses. Here we go. Taurus, we have win or lose, the five of swords. We have the six of swords as healing begins. Beautiful. And we have open up as the four of pentacles. Okay, so Taurus, I feel as though something has happened with you. Um, possibly there has been an argument or some sort of defeated energy where, you know, nobody won and nobody lost. You just got nothing. Um, this may be around somebody that you have to travel to with Healing Begins. This is the Six of Swords indication, indicating travel. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a fellow Earth sign. But Taurus, I feel like there was something that happened in your love life that I feel like you want to heal, but you don't want to open up to healing this. So it's like you want to heal or you want to move forward with this person. You want to heal this defeated energy, but I guess you may not be the may not be the first, you may not want to be the first person to reach out here with open up with the four of pentacles. Um, you know, being very closed off, dare I say stubborn Taurus. Um, so I feel like you want to heal with somebody. Or somebody wants to heal with you, but I don't feel like you're opening up to it. Let's get some of your person's energy here. There definitely was some sort of argument or some sort of defeat where, you know, I feel like Taurus, it could have been that somebody just gave up. 
and just didn't want to fight for the connection anymore. And it's like, you want to heal with them, but you may not want to be the first person to say something. Um, keep in mind, Taurus, this could be the other person, but I do feel like this is your energy. I feel like something happened in the past with this connection or something happened in your love life. And I feel like I'm not sure you're very open to anything right now. So let's get your a person's energy here. Who is Taurus dealing with? Who is Taurus dealing with? Can I please see their energy? Okay, Taurus, we have refusing to see the Two of Swords. We also have awaiting results, the Seven of Pentacles. And we have blossom as judgment. Oh my goodness, Taurus. Okay, so I feel like, so I don't know specifically what happened here, but in the connection or in your love life, I, don't, I feel like this is a connection. Taurus, I feel like the person that you're dealing with, whatever happened between the two of you caused them to want to close their heart off to you. They are closed off. They are blindfolded. They don't want to see that this connection has been through trouble. They don't want to see that this connection has been through hard times. They're almost like blocking it out like it didn't even happen. But they're waiting for you, Taurus. They're waiting and waiting and waiting. This person is waiting for you to say something to them, Taurus. I feel like this person is waiting for you to open up with this Seven of Pentacles. They're waiting. I feel like this person may be a little bit impatiently waiting for you to say something. They're waiting. That's all I got here with this, you know. They're, <laughs> they're waiting for you, Taurus. But we also have Blossom here with Judgment. So either this person gets tired of waiting and steps up themselves or you open up. Well, I don't know specifically here. Definitely could be somebody from the past with this judgment card here. Could be a second chance, a reconciliation. I feel like Taurus, this person wants a second chance with you or they're waiting for a second chance with you and you're not opening up to it yet. Let's get the mutual energy between the two of you, Taurus. I don't really see anything happening. So there must be some stagnancy or some separation here. Silence. Um, Spirit, can you please clarify this? I mean, I'm sorry. Can you please give me the mutual energy between Taurus and the person they're connecting with? Taurus and the person that they are connecting with. All right, Taurus. We have Detach. Justice. We have Darkest Fears, the Nine of Swords. And we have, ooh, there it is, the Ace of Swords. There's the communication. Somebody says something. You know, of course, Spirit, you would put it in the mutual energy. Ha! <laughs> so, we don't know who says something just yet. Okay, so, wow. Wow. What the heck is going on here, Taurus? There is a lot of sword energy. I have a lot of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, specifically Libra with justice. But there is some sort of situation where there needs to be balance in this connection. Or some you both need to start doing what's right and doing what's right for yourself. And do what's right for this connection. I feel like somebody isn't doing what was right. Or you both weren't doing what was right. But you both have a lot of anxiety. You both are overthinking this connection. You both are overthinking what to say. You both are overthinking. I feel like this person is overthinking because they're waiting. And they're blocking you out. And I feel like you're overthinking because you don't want to open up, but you want to heal with them. So you're not really sure how to do this. 
Nonetheless, you both are overthinking this connection. You both are letting it consume your mind. And you both are really... It's like there's a lot of thinking about this connection, but there's no movement. There's no communication. There's no... I'm going to put my thoughts into words. Just yet. Just yet. But here we go. Communication, clarity of belief. So there's going to be clarity about this situation. Ace of Swords here. There is going to be communication between the two of you. There's going to be truths as well. I just don't know who's the one who budges first yet. So I do feel like Taurus. I don't feel like this is a, a new person. I feel like this is a past person or the current person you've been dealing with. Let's clarify Taurus's energy. Taurus, I have a bunch of swords and some earth. So could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So let's see. Spirit, can you please clarify my Taurus's energy? Why are Tauruses feeling this way? Why are my Tauruses feeling this way? Spirit, why are my Tauruses feeling this way? Please clarify this. I honestly feel like this person will be the one to reach out, Taurus. But we're going to see. Here we go. Clarifying win or lose, we have the magician. Taurus. That is not a good combination. That is manipulative combination. So I hope, Taurus, you didn't cause this issue here. The magician on the five of swords is extremely manipulative com um extremely manipulative com combination for so for some of you Tauruses who feel like you didn't do this person wrong you may be on this side because that is not the magician can be very manipulative depending on who he is on what combination he's set with and the five of swords is not the best thing to be combined with the magician just saying here we go. Healing begins with the fool and open up with justice. Okay, so Taurus, if you did do this person wrong, I do feel like you want to make it right. You just don't know how to. Um, or vice versa, Taurus, you may be flipped. You may be on the other side. Taurus, this may be the other person and you're waiting for this person to actually want to do what's right because they treated you wrong. And I'm only saying that because this is a very, very, very manipulative combination but whatever, I don't know, maybe some of you Tauruses are watching this and you're like, oops. I didn't realize I was being that way. Because this person doesn't feel like they have to say something. And this person is like blocking out their heart here. Could be dealing with an Aries or a strong Libra. We have Justice here twice. So the fact that Justice is here twice just shows me that this connection has been imbalanced for a very long time. And there has been a lot of arguments. There has been a lot of defeated energy in this connection. So, you know, Taurus, maybe just this time around, um, things were different. And I feel like, Taurus, you do want to start fresh with this person, with the fool. I don't feel, I just feel like you don't know how to go about it. So, Taurus, if this isn't a full-on manipulative energy, you may be, you may be self deceiving yourself that you don't have the power to make this connection right. You may be deceiving yourself that you don't have all of the tools to heal this connection. Because this is just not a good combination. So you're either deceiving yourself that you are powerful, which is... The, deceiving yourself that you're not the magician is horrible because the magician is the most powerful person. He has all of the tools. So, Taurus, you may be deceiving yourself that you don't have the power to make this right or you don't have the power to heal this connection when you really do. So, let's clarify this person's energy. Very interesting. What the heck is going on here, Taurus? It's like you want to make it right, but I feel like you don't want to be the first person to reach out or something. Or you want to do what's right or something along those lines. All right, Spirit, clarify this person's energy. 
Or maybe, you know, Taurus, you want your justice. Maybe this person was the one who messed up and you want your justice from this person. But you don't want to open up and let them know that you are hurt by them. Mm-hmm. What's going on here? Oh, my goodness. You guys are making me hot. Okay, so can you please clarify this person's energies for Taurus? Who is Taurus connecting with? Spirit, who are Taurus connecting with? All right. On refusing to see the Emperor. All right. Strong Aries and Libra. Okay. Awaiting results. The Six of Wands and Blossom with the High Priestess. Okay, so I feel like there is a very... This is extremely strong energy here, Taurus. Because I have you clarified by all majors. And this person's clarifications are almost all majors except for the Six of Wands. This person wants your attention so bad, Taurus. Ooh, they want it so bad with the Six of Wands. They want your attention so badly, but they are not budging. This, they're, You two are mirroring each other. This person, I feel like, is going to be the one to take the lead. But I think, Taurus, this person is refusing to see that it has to be them. We also have the High Priestess here could be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces. I feel like this person is trying to use their intuition. I feel like this person has been withdrawing from you for quite some time here, Taurus. I feel like this person is trying to use your in, their intuition on what to do, maybe what you're thinking here. It's so interesting because I feel like this person is refusing to see that they need to come forward. But I almost feel like this person still doesn't want to be the first person. They don't want to have to take the lead. I think they want you to take the lead. Uh-oh, Taurus. We are in an extreme mirroring situation right now. And let me just point this out as, as well. We do have Aries energy and Libra energy, right? Aries cardinal sign the first sign taking the lead on things justice libra doing what's right so there is a very very high signification that somebody has to take the lead in this connection and do what's right it, whomever the heck it means it, it should be hey what's going on taurus i'm gonna clarify this last row after i clarify the mutual energy because that's what i'm gonna see more movement here so spirit please clarify this la this middle row the mutual energy between taurus and the person that they're connecting with taurus and the person they're connecting with taurus this person also has the high priestess could be um having some sort of intuitive insights about this connection as well they may have dreams Regarding this connection, you may have dreams regarding this connection. But you both are overthinking this connection. So, on top of detach coming through as justice, we have strength, Leo energy. On top of darkest fears, we have the eight of swords. Oh my gosh, y'all, the nine of swords and the eight of swords. You two are mirroring each other in the worst way, may I add. Um, all right, and we also, here we go. This is when we see that somebody says something, so let's see how it goes. Clarity of belief is clarified by the star. Oh, Taurus. Thank you, thank you. It got better, it got better. You two want to hope, want to heal. This needs to heal. This connection has to heal. Look at all of these majors, Taurus. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The only two majors that we don't have as clarifications is twice. So you both are in your head. Oh my gosh. You both are like not even, you both are feeling very restricted from this connection. You don't feel you don't know what to do. Neither of you know what to do. Neither of you want to be the first person to make the move. And 
Ooh. Ooh, my gosh, Taurus. I really don't, I really don't know who's going to do it. Who's going to do it? We have, I'm going to clarify and we're going to figure it out. All right. We're going to try it at least. Um, we have clarity of belief, the ace of swords and the star. This is new communication coming in. That's going to renew hope for this connection. Or maybe you just too need a heal. Maybe things were really bad in this connection before and there just needs to be healing. Maybe you even got divorced from this person or there is a divorce happening or whatever the case may be and you two are finally coming to some sort of compromise, healing with each other, whatever the case may be. We're clarifying this last row. We have a lot of swords energy and now we have Aquarius energy coming through. So a lot of air sign energy and that is showing me that you two are in your heads ooh badly too both of you are just in your heads so let's clarify this last row spirit i need taurus's energy followed by the mutual energy followed by taurus's person energy a total of three cards spirit taurus's energy the mutual energy and this person's energy All right, here we go, Taurus. Let's see what's going down. We have the Ace of Cups, Taurus. The Two of Wands. Look at that. You two are going to heal and choose the new path into the future. You two are going to have a conversation about letting go of what has just happened between the two of you or what has happened between the two of you and choosing the new path forward. And on their energy, we have the Ace of Wands. No, no way, Taurus. You both have aces. I don't know who reaches out first. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And intuitively, I'm feeling like they don't want me to... Like, I feel like they... they I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. I'm like, let's clarify and see if they give us something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Taurus. You have three aces in a row down here. You have the ace of cups, the ace of swords, the ace of wands. There's new energy coming for this connection. It's going to be renewed. Who, Taurus? I feel like it could be either of you that says something. Either of you will say something. I honestly... Oh, man. Oh, man. Who is it going to be? Uh, you know, Taurus, sometimes you're not supposed to know all the answers. Somebody's going to say something. That's all I'm telling you here. Um, somebody's going to open up. This person's withdrawn, closed off. You're withdrawn, closed off. It's you both may be putting down your guards at the same time. And that's why this is happening. Ooh, what a reading. What a reading, Taurus. Let's get some of the Mystic Moon Oracles. I may come back to this. Let me just see what this tells me. I may come back to it. I may come back to it. I on it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Taurus. I feel like I don't want to say it, but I may say it. Taurus, I feel like it may be you. Only because you want to heal with this person. And we do have that combination here that isn't too great so maybe Taurus you did do this person wrong or vice versa maybe they're on this side and they're the person that's saying something to you because I feel like this person is withdrawn and I feel like you're closed off but oh I don't know oh my gosh oh my gosh Taurus if you're resonating with this reading, you're probably like going as crazy in your brain and your mind as much as I am right now. <laughs> Let's get some Mystic Moons Oracles for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of you may be dealing with another Taurus as well or somebody who has strong Taurus in their chart or definitely Aries or Libra. And that may be why they're not giving too much as well. Because you may be dealing with a fellow one. Here we go. We have Observer. Ooh, this person's been watching you, Taurus. But I know that already. They've been waiting. They want your attention so bad, Taurus. They want your attention so bad. 
We have divine timing. Yep, within divine timing, the observer is going to come out of hiding. We have crossroads. We have fifth dimension. Yep, some of you Tauruses or this person as well has been having dreams of each other. Divine masculine. Oh yeah, definitely having dreams of each other here. And one more card. I couldn't I, I couldn't count. And we have pause. Okay, so we already know that there's been a pause to this connection. You're definitely dreaming of this person or this person is dreaming of you. Or maybe you're, you both are dreaming of each other. Maybe that's what's causing all of this anxiety. Ooh, oh my gosh, Taurus. Within due time and divine timing, there will be a choice that has to be made about this connection. And we do see that with the two of wands. So I feel like you both are going to make a choice into the future and not really dwell on the past of this connection. And... I feel like within due time, in divine timing, this observer is going to come out of hiding. Because like I said, Taurus, somebody wants your attention really bad. Maybe you want their attention too. I know you want to heal with them. There is going to be healing. Um, we do have fifth dimension and divine masculine. So during this separation, one or both of you are having dreams of each other. So, it doesn't have to mean that you are dealing with a male. They may just be coming through as masculine energy. But pay attention to your dreams. Definitely with that fifth dimension, you're getting some sort of insight. And I did feel it with this person, especially with the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is intuitive insights from spirit as well. So, the High Priestess, I did mention that when the High Priestess came out. That, you know, this person may be having dreams of you or you of them and... That's clarification. So, Taurus, there's a new beginning coming after, I feel like, a long separation or a very hard separation. I feel like there's going to be a choice to be made. Um, do we reconnect or do we just heal and move on with our lives? I do feel like there's going to be a choice about that. Do we want to re-spark the spark in this connection or should we just heal what happened in the past and stay friends? There's going to be a choice. You two are mirroring each other though right now. For a while I think you may be mirroring each other too because we do have all of the aces and all of the movement happening towards the end of the spread. So very much could be happening a lot more into the end or towards the end of November or towards the middle of November. Because I did have to re-clarify, right? So, ooh, Taurus, what a reading. What a reading. So, Taurus, if you want to book with me in the description box below. And also, Taurus, free card pulls on my Instagram three times a week if you're interested in interacting with me. And... I think that's all I got for you, Taurus. I look forward to reading your comments, hearing your feedback on this reading. If you've been dreaming of somebody, Taurus, I want to know. Because we this is strong. Very strong. Fifth dimension, divine timing. Ooh. Our Taurus cross watcher. I want to know. Let me know if you're having some dreams or whatever the case may be. So see you soon. See you soon, Taurus. Bye now.